Hey guys, I'm Cor Ross and welcome back to the Myth Busting series for Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are looking at Blood Orchid. In this episode we are focusing on Ella, the new 3 speed defender from the Polish CTU. Concussion Mine Line of Sight. So Concussion Mines are based on proximity but also line of sight. If the mine can't see the player model of the enemy player, it will not detonate. This is something you should take into consideration when you're placing them and can be an advantage when you're placing them too. So that is confirmed. Concussion Mine Line of Sight with Shields. So we know that Montang Extended will stop a detonation from a Legion Mine until you get very, very close. That is not the case with Ella's concussion mine. The shield does not block the line of sight and it will still detonate. So that is busted. Concussion mines will retract Montang shield. So as we know, Echo will retract Montang shield if we use the Echo drone on him. What about a concussion grenade? Well, yes, it works. It detracts his shield. He then has to retract it again. So that is confirmed. Concussion mines will detonate in dead bodies. So we know that putting a claymore in a dead body will stop the detonation because it stops the lasers. However, a concussion mine use proximity detonation, so you would think it would detonate. So let's watch. And it doesn't detonate. So he is clipping through the body. He is completely moving through that body and there is no detonation. That mine is just not going off, which is pretty crazy. Now this is a reason not to put your mines on the ground because someone can fall on them and actually make it completely useless. Whereas with lesion, it does still work. However, it does reduce that detection radius down to the actual body. So you have to step on the body for it to detonate. However, it will. Otherwise though, that's busted. Concussion mines will not detonate in dead bodies. Concussion mines will be destroyed by Thatcher's EMP. So of course, these are electronic devices and Thatcher's EMP will destroy them. So that is indeed confirmed. Thatcher's EMP will destroy concussion mines. Concussion mines will stop the diffuser from being planted. Because these have pretty big detonation radiuses, you can certainly throw these into objective rooms and potentially stop the diffuser from being planted. You'll need about half the amount of time it takes for the diffuser to go down in order for it to arm and detonate, so you're probably wanting to get it down pretty quick. But it does work and it's certainly confirmed. Concussion mines will stop you pulling out legions and needle. So this is basically the same idea as the last myth, you're stopping an animation, you're stopping an action. However, it doesn't work. You can still pull that needle out, no problem. So this is probably a balancing thing to basically not have you take damage over time while being stunned. So this will indeed not stop you from pulling that needle out. And uh, it's the same with Echo as well. So this probably is a very deliberate choice. And as we can see here with Echo, it does not stop you. So you can still pull that needle out even though you're being stunned by something that normally does stop an action. But anyway, that is busted. Concussion Mines versus Twitch's Drone. So Twitch's Drone can come across and easily destroy these Concussion Mines. So I recommend putting them up high, putting them in places you're not gonna be looking for them when you're in a Twitch Drone. And that way you can probably save a few of your Concussion Mines from getting destroyed by Twitch. So that is confirmed. Sticking Concussion Mines to players. So are you able to actually stick Concussion Mines to players? We tried a variety of different ideas, for instance, deployable cover here, and uh, we weren't able to get any combination that would stick to the actual player model at all. But uh, we did try everything and uh, didn't work, so busted. Concussion Mines stuck to Blackbeard Shield. So this is actually very reminiscent of tests we did with Valkyrie's camera when they first came around, which was could you stick them to player models or shields or all kinds of stuff. And we did try this back then too, which was actually to get Blackbeard to hold them, but it wouldn't work, the camera's always rolled out. It does kind of work with the Concussion Mines as long as Blackbeard doesn't actually move. They do kind of stay there in the shield, which is 
Kind of cool, completely useless, but totally cool. So that is busted. Ella Echo Combo. So can you use both of these effects together on an enemy player to make a more powerful effect? And it's kind of yes, kind of no. So the Ella effect gives you this green screen and you kind of move around slower when you're looking around and you cannot sprint while under the influence as well, but it doesn't last too long. Whereas the Echo one is kind of this haziness. It lets you look around really quickly and you can sprint with it as well, but the effect gets worse. When you use both Ella and Echo together, it depends which one you use first. So if I use Ella first, then Echo, Echo's effect mostly replaces Ella's effect. And the same is if you Echo first and then Ella, it will replace Echo's effects with Ella's effects. But you do get some crossover. So if you Ella effect first, then Echo, that player will get more of the echo effect, but they will not be able to sprint. So that sprinting part is actually coming across from the... So that's a bit of the two effects merging together. But it doesn't really double it up. It doesn't really make it that much better. And certainly it doesn't seem to make the duration of either one longer, but certainly it does mix and match a little bit. But I would say the more powerful way to use this is to probably either echo first or Ella first and then add to the effects after the first one's already run off. But it kind of is plausible, I guess. Hiding Ella's mines between layers of wall. So this is an example we came up with where we put an impact hole in the wall and then we actually tried to hide Ella's concussion mine into one of the layers of that wall. As you can see, it didn't quite work out. It does poke out there. But because these stick to anything, you can get this to work. And we have a great example here where Pyrex is actually able to stick this mine onto the support beam and you cannot see it from either side. It's well hidden in there. And you can see, other than having this really tight angle, there's no way I'm gonna know it's in there. The great advantage for this is because they're based on line of sight detonation, it will only go off when someone actually vaults through the hole, which means you can be hidden behind another wall somewhere and if someone jumps through, you just shoot and you will probably kill them because they would have to be vaulting while it goes off, which makes it a really powerful position in the care for the enemy team. So that is confirmed. Concussion mines can be blocked by objects. So the line of sight also works for the actual effect of the gadget. For instance, we've got a couch here. We've got Ella on the other side and she's gonna set off her concussion mine and it doesn't affect the player. Now, not all objects will have this desired effect, but certainly couches in this game are very powerful. So that is confirmed. Prone under a concussion mine. So we know the detonation radius of our concussion mine is about four meters. And that means you can get them really high up, which is really good for getting them away from Twitch drones. I've seen a lot of people put them quite low and I think that's probably a bad idea. For instance, you could have this one on the other side of this doorway and no one would know it was up there. Now, certainly on maps with higher up ceilings, this is perfect. But you can actually go prone underneath these mines. So if you do see a mine really high up, maybe when you're droning, you can then sneak under it and be much more covert. So that's confirmed. Concussion mine blast radius. So we know the detection range is about four meters, but actually the blast radius that you can get hurt by is around about six or seven meters. So a way bigger radius than the detection. So that is confirmed. Concussion mines block claymore lasers. Now, again, because this gadget can stick to anything, it can even stick to the claymores, which means you can use it to actually block the lasers, which can be useful for sneaking around and getting the uh, surprise attack on the attacker team. So that is confirmed. Now let's talk about Ella's hitbox. So of course, the skin tight trousers are pretty much entirely hitbox. We do have the pouch for the gadget and on the other side the pistol holster, but everything here is pretty much hitbox, so there's not much to test, and of course I do manage to actually shoot Ella a couple of times. We used to be able to test the hitbox because of the red reticle, but that's actually gone now, so it does make testing these hitboxes a little bit more lethal. But as you can see, 
everything you kind of expect to be out of the hitbox is the hat, the hood, the goggles, but the actual bagginess of the clothes kind of seems to be part of the hitbox in a few areas, as you will see in a minute. But like, I thought that wasn't part of our hitbox there, and then, yeah, sure. But I would say that our hitbox is very slim overall and very accurate. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Bust and Rainbow Six Siege. I hope to see you again in the future. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you next time.